So here's the question. Is your garage something of a junk cemetery? Stuff goes in but never comes out, and nobody's quite sure what's lurking out there. Well, fear no more, because Carl Chambly is the star of DIY Do-It-Yourself to the Rescue and Wasted Spaces on HGTV, so he knows just how to kickstart our garage makeover plans. Hello there, Carl. Thank you for being with us today. Good morning. It's a pleasure. Well, I know that you can tell us how we can get in and get this done. Yeah, that's the, that's the big thing. It's, you know, how do you get started? Right. Um, you know, there's a lot to talk about as far as organising a garage, but, you know, as you said, there's a lot of junk in there, <laughs> and the first step is just getting it out. Yes. Not junk, but a lot of personal items, you know. Yes. Right behind me here, you can see, is a storage container. Now, the guys from 1-800-PACKRAT helped me with this particular container. And the first advice is, is to empty that space completely. If you've got a storage container like that, you can put all the stuff in there and take your time going through it because we've got to be real here it does take quite a bit of time mm -hmm. to sort through all that stuff when you do it work out what you want to keep what you can donate what you can recycle and a garage sale because a garage sale is a good way to go mm. in regards to getting some extra cash and then you can put that cash to an organizational system that you know will suit your needs great idea. Uh, Nikki this is my house right here and um, this is how I've applied this system in my place. Oh, almost lost you there. <laughs> it's uh, a little bit rugged, the terrain here, that, but the cameraman's good again. That's good, that's this, good. This um, is what's called the Gladiator Gear Track Channels. And you can see it's all about getting everything off the floor and up there on the walls. Okay. And the cool thing about this, Nikki, is it's very do-it-yourself friendly. Everyone looking in can do this. It's okay. just a matter of getting these pieces and screwing through these tracks mm -hmm. into the through the drywall and into the studs. And that just gives you, you know, endless possibilities of what you can do on a wall. Definitely a good weekend now, family project. It really is. And the cool thing about having a container is, you know, you, you need a few weekends to go through stuff, mm -hmm. but having a clean slate just gives you the opportunity to really visualise what you can do with the space. Wow. Now, check this out. This is, uh, this is awesome. Yeah. Um, this is what's called the Gladiator Gear Wall Panels, and it just enables you to do so much. You can see I've got shovels and stuff here. I've got my little fellow's fishing rods. I've got all of this stuff going on. These wall cabinets, baskets. This is really cool, too. See all these clear plastic totes up here? Oh, I love those. It's not... Yeah, it's really cool because you can see what's in there and it's just great to have it off the ground. Now, I'm a building contractor and I've got a lot of stuff, but you don't see anything on the floor. Exactly. And I find that when... Yeah, that's what's cool. <laughs> and I find that when you've got a place organised, you know, your kids or family tend to put everything back where it should go. Mm. Um, Nikki, this, this is what I love. This is kind of my workstation here. Another great thing about this product is check this out. Everything's modular. Not only have I got a workbench over there, but let's say, for example, working on a car, a little home improvement project, and I've even got a couple of girls that do a lot of sewing. They use this sort of setup. But for me, it's all about the tools. Mm. I can fully extendable drawers, and it's things like this I don't want my little bloke to get his hands on. <laughs> right. The great thing about... Yeah. Because he'll use it too. Yeah, we, we want him to stay away great. from that. Yeah, absolutely. But what's cool is everything's lockable. So, you know, I like to get people to think outside the box because the garage can be a lot of things now. Now that it's lockable and safe, it can be an extension of the home, you know, that somewhere else for the kids to play if it's inclement outside. It can be a gym. It could be a home office. And I've even decked out a garage recently where I'll put a big flat screen up there. Oh, they back wow. the cars out bring out the chairs, and it's just a really cool space, you know? That is so cool. Well, Carl, let me ask you a question. Where can people yeah. go for more information from you? Because I know people want very specific advice for the type of space that they have. Yep. Well, gladiatorgarageworks.com is an excellent resource, and I've got a bunch of tips on there as well. Oh, good. But what's cool is they've got a tool called the Blueprint Estimator, and your viewers can actually take the dimensions of their walls and their floors and put it on this little tool, okay. and they can visually get an understanding of how their garage can look. And what's exciting too, I think, Nikki, is that the garage is the easiest room to take over. There's no permits, there's no structural issues, it's already there, and it's something they can start today. 
Carl Champley, thank you so much for that great advice. That's been a Pleasure. really helpful and fun segment. We appreciate you being with us today and helping cool. us whip those garages into shape. Thank you. Okay. <laughs>